nice cup of tea. Right, it's been a while since I've talked to the camera, so <laughs> I'm just kind of easing back into things. So hi everyone, welcome to another Artist Diaries studio vlog, whatever we're calling them. Um, Happy New Year, hope you had a good Christmas or holiday season. Yeah, I had a really, really good Christmas. Uh, both me and Tom did actually get colds, um, but other than that, had a really nice time. We stayed with my parents for a week, which was really lovely. I didn't get to see my sister this year, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll see her soon and like we had like a zoom chat so i got to see her virtually anyway um but yeah had a really really nice christmas saw tom's family as well and watched lots of christmas tv um we didn't actually watch very many like christmas films but we did watch agatha christie and the new doctor who so that's kind of what i'm classifying as Christmas TV. Um, oh, and we watched House of Games as well. We also went to Leeds Castle, which is one of mine and Tom's favourite places. It's not actually in Leeds, it's in Kent. I mean, there's like a small town called Leeds in Kent, just to like confuse things. They always do really amazing Christmas decorations inside the castle and they always like pick a different theme and this year they chose the Lime, the Witch and the Wardrobe but that was really fun because you got to go like through the wardrobe so that was kind of magical. They actually had some live actors as well which me and Tom were a little bit scared of the White Witch <laughs> especially because it was a live actor and I thought it was going to be a model I didn't realise there was actually going to be live actors and it's always a little bit awkward <laughs> so I think me and Tom were actually more scared than the kids were but yeah and so now I'm just kind of getting back into work having a bit of a slow start today but yeah I've opened my Etsy shop back up um, that I opened yesterday so I had a couple of orders to pack today so that was good. I'm now going to be working on some new products which is exciting and I thought I would actually do a dragon holding a daffodil because if you don't know we live in Wales and so I thought I'd do something for St David's Day and if you don't know the national flower for Wales is a daffodil and obviously the dragon is like on the Welsh flag. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a red dragon with a daffodil and I thought I might turn it into a wooden decoration. The other exciting thing is today is the 4th of January so I can listen to Ruthless Vows. Very exciting. This isn't even the final cover. I don't know why they haven't updated that, but um, yeah, really, really excited to listen to this. I've really got an, gotten into audiobooks again at the moment. I've been listening to a lot of them on Libby, which is a library app and it's free and you just need a library card. Um, but I've also been testing out a few other audiobook subscriptions. So I'm testing out BookBeat. That one, you, you can do like a free trial of it and there's different tiers depending on how many hours of audiobook you get. Yeah, I'm also testing out Ever And, which is basically like, um, it's Scribd. That one, it's kind of like as many audiobooks as you can listen to. I can't find everything that I want to listen to on there, but I thought that would be worth it. Um, and they also have a free trial as well. But I'm excited, I'm gonna listen to Ruthless Vows, which is the sequel to Divine Rivals, which I loved. Divine Rivals was definitely one of my favourite books of 2023. It's like an enemies to lovers, and it's sort of got like this fantasy element as well. The main two characters, they're rival journalists, and they've both been given typewriters by their grandmothers that have been like passed down to them, but they don't realise these typewriters, they're kind of like linked, and they're these magical typewriters that send letters to each other and so somehow they end up sending these letters the guy works out who the girl is the girl doesn't know who the guy is but they start chatting to each other um and then there's this like fantasy war thing going on with these gods 
Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm really looking forward to the sequel to that. So that is what I'm going to do. Anyway, I hope you've had a really good new year. And yeah, I'm just going to stop rambling <laughs> and listen to my new audiobook and draw some dragons. So I started off drawing the dragon side on, kind of like it would look on the Welsh flag. But yeah, then I decided I'd rather have it face on. I just wanted to draw like a nice kind of cute dragon. I do go back and change the wings slightly because I didn't use a reference photo for the wings and I ended up colouring actually the wings in completely as you'll see in a minute and then I decided that the kind of lines on the wings didn't really look quite right so after that I decided to look at reference photos of like bat wings I was working on the shading and then I started adding all these like scales which is a similar technique that I did when I drew buttercup the dragon then I came in with a green brush to kind of fix the wings and I had to rub out the work that I'd previously done and then redo it but I think it actually made a lot of difference um, I think it's come out really well I can't wait to actually see it I've just got an email saying that these are gonna arrive really soon so at the end of the video I will do an unboxing where we can see how these came out me and Tom are gonna go to a beach um, I'm just filming a clip now because it I don't know if it's going to be windy today but whenever I try and film outside and talk it, you usually can't hear what I'm saying so yeah we're I think we're going to go to Barra Fundle and maybe also Broadhaven as well um it should be really beautiful probably cold I'm going to need a hat so we have a little walk and then we're going to get to the beach and it's a beautiful day it looks lovely Oh, that feels nice. Yeah. It's nice when it's cold, <laughs> not windy, it's fresh. And sunny. films like in eternal sunshine of the spotless mind he goes to the beach when it's like because cold I never going to beaches in the winter. i've never been to the beach in the winter been, like, i think actually no in the maybe in the autumn remember we went to margate Thank you. 
So here's a few clips of me working on another dragon decoration. This time I wanted to create a book dragon. Basically it's something I found out that it's an alternative to being a bookworm. So a book dragon is basically a book hoarder and I like to imagine them as just being like cozied up inside their cave just surrounded with books as if that was their treasure and I just thought that that was a really fun idea. Also this is the year of the dragon in the Chinese New Year so I just really wanted to create another dragon decoration. But yeah, let me know what you think of both designs. Which do you prefer? And also let me know, are you a bookworm or are you a book dragon? I'm just having a sort out of my studio and I've just found this random box. This says it's rabbits. It is not rabbits. Um, yeah, I think this must have been from when I was like taking a bunch of photos or I don't know what but I've just <laughs> randomly put all this stuff in this box it's all a big mishmash anyway I found that I've got I think I've got one two hedgehogs that I can see I had completely sold out of the hedgehogs and I actually do need to get more and I was wondering do I get more now or do I wait for winter but generally I have my like woodlands animals with the scarves um all year round because they're usually really popular but, but yeah my desk is a mess at the moment because I'm just I'm hunting for a load of this is it gonna focus hello focus please focus um but yeah I'm just hunting for a load of my lion badges I did find some the haven't got um the backing cards on them but somebody contacted me saying that they needed 50 i don't think i have 50 so i'm just i was trying to see how many i've got um and i'll need to ask them what their time frame is and maybe i'll have to order some more but i've just been like rummaging but um but yeah sometimes i do this and i just put random things in random places <laughs> So I'm just going to try and sort this out. But yeah, other than that, I try to be organised, but it doesn't always happen. And sometimes things go in random places. So anyway, we have two more hedgehogs. And the other thing I found that I had a bunch of, uh, well, I say a bunch. I've got one, two, three, four, five. Are these bluebell cats? Now, I think, oh, that one's got two backing cards yeah I found some that had just one pin on the back so these were my first ones that I ordered um so I have ordered these a few times and I do want to restock these this one I can tell it's an old one because this was when I used bubble wrap to wrap these up but now I use glassine bags and again I just I just found them in a random box so I'm gonna relist those and but I will be ordering some more bluebell cats soon the other thing I need to reorder are these cat sticky sticking I can <laughs> this is always so hard to say I need to reorder these cats sitting on things stickers because this is actually one of my most popular things and this is how many I have left so ah I'm running really low I think some more people have ordered some that I need to pack so yeah I'm running very low on those but I will reorder some more of them and these are the glassine bags that I pack those with I'm good for cards at the moment apart from I am the thing I'm lowest in at the moment is the You're My Blooming Cup of Tea card. And I don't think I've got many of these penguin ones either because they're in the same stack. Oh dear, that's not quite as neat as that was. <laughs> but yeah, and I've got a bunch of my Christmas cards. I Amazingly, I did actually, I feel like I sold more Christmas cards in the sale <laughs> than... Um, than I did over Christmas but anyway box emptied and I found another two hedgehogs so got four hedgehogs left 
so that's good um but no more lions the other thing that i found the who remembers these this is a um blast from the past i found a bunch of these dino baker pins so yeah should i i i guess i'll put these on um i don't know if i'll do the metal backs i kind of i think lots of people prefer the other backs oh some of these have got black backs on them um yeah so i need to go through sort these out decide if they're first or seconds but yeah should i i don't know and that's what it looks like on the backing card i was quite pleased with these backing cards actually and i got i got him with glitter on him because i was like glitter <laughs> i was so excited that you could do things like glitter and but yeah maybe i'll put him back on my shop but yeah let me know if you remember this from years ago i think was this 2019 yeah this was a long time ago that i made this pin oh hi everyone so i've got some exciting things to show you first of all i've got this very pretty baker's twine i've got lots of colors or oh, i've got three colors Ooh. so i wasn't sure what colors i wanted to do but i've got white and green white and navy although that does look like white and black uh and then i've got this it's kind of white and yellow it looks sort of like a sandy color i'm thinking i might go for this color just because of you know daffodils i also i have bought some daffodils only one of them is in bloom at the moment but i'm hoping that they will bloom soon so i can use them for photos but the most exciting thing <gasps> is we have decorations to look at so right which one is this one? Oh, so this one i think is the book dragon so they i got these from zap and they come with this like protective paper on both sides they print my design and then they laser cut it and they do different types of wood i went for i think i went for the maple wood again okay i've got it i've got it <laughs> have i got it here you go it's the satisfying bit Ooh. oh the writing's come out well okay i'm really pleased about that and here comes the dragon he looks really really cute i think he's come out really well um yes yeah, so i need to take the paper off the back as well hey. oh i missed a bit <laughs> but yeah i might possibly go for a darker wood in the future i'm not sure but i like having the lighter wood just because i don't want to go too dark and then for the artwork not to show up on the front. Planning on taking some photos of these and getting them up on my Etsy shop. And I think by the time this video goes up, they will be on my Etsy shop to get. But yeah, I'm planning for the decorations for the book hoarder. Surprise, surprise, I'm probably gonna take some photos with some books. Um, oh, speaking of books, I, I don't think I ever said what I thought of the sequel to Divine Rivals. So yeah, Ruthless Vows. I finished it, I loved it. I really want to read more Rebecca Ross because I just, I love these two books. And I think I actually want to reread both these books later on in the year again. But it's a fantasy book, but it's also kind of like a war book. And in some ways it kind of feels a bit like World War One or World War Two, like even though it's like a fantasy war. So I was really, really worried about some of the characters in this. But yeah, I don't want to say too much and spoil what happens. But yeah, I'd really like to read more Rebecca Ross. Um, 
oh if you <laughs> also i'm i'm reading a new book at the moment so i'm reading tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow yeah it's kind of funny i didn't actually know anything about this book going into it other than it was two friends who meet when they're younger have a falling out um meet up again when they're both at university and they decide to make a video game together and for some reason even though i didn't know what the book was about i'd got it into my head that i thought it was a science fiction book and <laughs> like i don't know why i just assumed and i shouldn't assume things the title of the book tomorrow tomorrow and tomorrow for some reason in my mind that sounds like a kind of groundhog day but yeah i think i was just expecting some kind of like black mirror thing to happen but i'm 30 percent of the way through and i'm kind of thinking when are they gonna invent this game that's gonna do something like weird and science fictiony like i don't know that that's just what i think i thought the plot should be <laughs> like uh, if you're gonna have a book about video games i think it needs to be like yeah a sci-fi version or something like magical needs to happen anyway let's have a look at the new decoration so this one is my welsh dragon let's peel the paper off oh i don't think this one's going to be as satisfying oops <laughs> hang on okay there's a little bit <laughs> i tried to get it in one go but Oh, it's come out really cute though the colors have come out so nice Whee. but yeah so here is my little welsh dragon holding the daffodils i i really love how this has come out and yeah i think i definitely want to go for the yellow baker's twine but yeah i'm gonna have to think what i can do for the photos because like i really want to take photos today but we only have one daffodil i mean maybe that <laughs> maybe that will work i'll probably use my photo boards as well which i've got some photo boards like up here somewhere to take some photos but yeah so they're gonna be on my shop maybe i'll put some cutaways if i take any like nice um photos or anything before this video goes up but yeah i think that might actually be the end of this video but yeah i had a very nice start to the year um oh i also had my birthday my birthday was at the end of january and my mum's birthday is in february so i went to go visit some family again which was lovely um i also got to see my sister this time so that was really good so we also exchanged like christmas presents um and i got to meet my new nephew who is adorable and yes i just had a really nice start to the year but yeah i'm sending you lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful start to the year as well and i will see you in my next video okay bye there's someone there i can't film <laughs> oh it doesn't want to focus on it it wants to focus on my face um i can see the bin men coming by hopefully they don't see me filming <laughs> um so does this count as climbing um climbing on the way up i think but it does involve concentration i like this bit this bit feels magical because it's like an arch any yeah. kind of archway is just Cool. Uh, I find it hard enough walking on sand. I'm falling. Pull me. Pull me. Hey. Hey. Okay, I did it. Never mind. <laughs> you left me hanging. <laughs>